For some countries, the Olympics is almost an unimaginable dream. It's really tough because some countries just don't have the resources. How big of a deal is the Olympics? Uh, it's the only deal. <laughs> If one individual can win, it will change their lives. It will change their families and their communities. We are up there where everybody is. With big, enormous hearts, with bare hands, with claws, with blood and tears, we can compete against giants. Esa dorada, con Dios adelante, nosotros la vamos a lograr. When we're traveling, some of the people ask us, where are you from? And then we said Vanuatu, and then they said, where is Vanuatu? and then we start winning a lot. And now they know where Vanuatu is. Vanuatu is a country with lots of perspectives that uh, still exist today. There are villagers here who still live a very traditional way of life. Well, Vanuatu has been voted the happiest place on the planet, and you can just see that when you walk around the street, everybody is smiling and happy. In Vanuatu, we live for peace. When we started the program, we asked the girls what their dreams are, what's their goals, and they didn't even know what a dream was. Because all they could see was their lives in the village. They never knew that they would be anything more than that. I island, year eight, and after school, I was a spot. The girls weren't well educated reading and writing, and that's a struggle. So we run programs, maybe your parents can't afford you to go to school, but you can play sport. Go, 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 go. When they first went on tour, it was hard for me because it's like letting your children jump on the plane. So when I first time when I travel, I'm in a country. I'm feeling like I'm semi fried. Never me Leko Island. We nervous and then our God said, no, you can do it, and then we do it. It's my first time where I say play a big event. Then to play Cara Silva, so pull up my only surprise. The team has the skills. So the more experience we can get, the more we can climb up the ladder. They take the little baby with them because she was breastfeeding. It's a dilemma for them because they do their job as mothers and then they also have to perform as professional sports people. Now my dream is to go to Olympic. That's a big dream. But the three may become one dangerous thing. A partir de ahora, a partir de ahora, nuestro equipo se llama República Dominicana. Eso. The Dominican dream is a dream for the better. And more often than not, 
That dream is located in faraway lands beyond the Caribbean Sea. I think there's a stereotype. They think everybody is just sort of hanging out at the beach and having fun, being lazy. This is a country where people hold three or four jobs just to survive, so we don't go a lot to the beach, actually. This is a poor country. The whole world of sports represents a path to success. Mainly baseball. You have the Sammy Sosas, Mario Ramirez, David Ortiz. For kids in, in the barrios, it could mean their way out of poverty. El boxeo aquí tiene una gran atracción entre los jóvenes de la República Dominicana. Ellos hacen boxeo un tiempo, eh, van a los Juegos Olímpicos. Six medals, but by male athletes. No women have ever won any medal in the Olympics. Ah, mira, que aquí hubo con guante desde chiquito. Siempre hubo guante. Yo fui selección de Sobol Molinete y bueno, una vez fui a entrenar Sobol. Y yo vi a esa muchacha que lanzó una bola del lefir del aljón y la puso detrás. Yo me paré de la silla y dije, caramba, mira qué material he echado a perder. Y yo la llamé, yo ven acá, mi hija. Entonces me dijo, pues, pues ven mañana que te voy a enseñar a boxear. ¿Qué te gusta de boxear? Todo, todo, todo. Y para nosotros ha sido una, una bendición, porque realmente es una buena boxeadora. Ama ese deporte, se entrega y nos ha dado muy buenos resultados. Para mí no es raro, para mí si no es más, es más una inspiración, porque ver una, una dama en este deporte tan difícil, eh, practicando tan fuerte, sacrificándose tanto, para mí es un motivo de, de inspiración y, y de seguir adelante. La gente sabe que yo lo hago, lo hago de corazón, que a dar todo por el todo siempre que me subo arriba de un ring girls in this country need role models just to be important on your own. Estamos motivando a las jóvenes para que vean el ejemplo de Yanayel, hasta donde ha llegado que se puede, cuando se quiere se puede. If a woman wins an Olympic medal, she would become a hero. It's a country inside South Africa where you think it's a dot, but there's powerful things happening there. It's green and peaceful. No one will go hungry. They can always go to their neighbors and they will be helped. There's, there's no boundaries, there's no fences, literally. It's, it's beautiful, you can, you can run forever. We started participating in the Olympics as back as 1972. We, we, we've not had any medals. No one can compete with us in terms of running uphill. So that's an advantage. Outside Lesotho, everything will appear flat. Seppo is completely on his own. He hasn't got 
the support like any other runner. Bahananje nana la pima nini? How na mutha se bita? Kena le maina ka baba na wa hoga gatle gaj. Me ha se bita na le butha ta la ba le butha ta ba o chai sa kyo koloi. Jena le nta tua ka muno ola otla ke stroku. Rese le ba na ba kona na zwa le ba. Khebona ke ga ba hodi sa le bona. He supports his family by competing and competing for money to feed the family. He doesn't really socialize or go out or, or anything. He just runs. With running, all you need is shoes, right? But even that, he hasn't got the right support. This one is for 10 Ks, but I have to use them even in marathon. What he eats is papa. It's a very basic staple. It's like polenta, it's a maize, a very starchy. Well, I was shocked to find out his diet. I suppose it's a form of carbo loading, but even then it's really, really basic, very meager. Basically his whole life is hinged on running. So he doesn't have any option but to be good. My kid's name is Chenina. See, mom very important, like, for me. Yeah. Traditionally, the family comes first. So the family is part of the team. It's just not one person you're dealing with. You're dealing with a whole family, and sometimes a whole community. When a boxer sube to the ring, with the support de su familiar puede perder pero hay que matarlo ahí arriba porque va a perder peleando mi motivación es mi familia porque yo digo que yo saliendo adelante yo podré ayudarlo a ellos me va a arruñar me va a arruñar Tú sabes que tú eres mi tía, no te quiero faltar el respeto. Este era mi amor. Él hacía algo, sí, pero que nunca. Pero siempre ponía a los niños a bolsear. Mi abuelo, que en paz de cáncer, se sentía súper orgulloso. Él... <clears throat> eh, no, papi, siempre decía papi, eh, siempre estaba pendiente de mí en, en todo. Mi familia siempre me han apoyado en eso. Ay, Dios mío, si la niña que no tira de la tía. <laughs> Quiero tener mi familia. Quiero tener el mello. <laughs> Es que el bolseo, el bolseo es un sacrificio, Jenny. Tú sabes que es un sacrificio, porque tú sabes lo que tú has, te has sacrificado. Sí. Que tú has dejado el todo por el todo sí. por el bolseo. Me he tenido que, que sacrificar, o sea, respecto a tener mi familia, porque estoy buscando una meta. Si Jenny se embaraza, fracasa. Jenny viene en su bolseo, es ahí. Ahí, Genevieve ya a las 6 de la mañana está en el parque esperando la guagua. A las 6 de la mañana y antes de las 6 cruza por ahí con su boutique. Yo pienso que esta sería su, su última oportunidad de participar y, y lograr una medalla en unos Juegos Olímpicos. Y este tiempo de ella, que ya como quien dice crucial, el tiempo va pasando y... <risa> Esperamos que vaya para la Olimpiada. Esa es lo que nosotros deseamos. Aquí mismo siempre cuando hay pelea ponemos la televisión en el parqueo. Y el barrio entero se vuelve loco. Es un escándalo por aquí, es lo mejor. En la última pelea fue verdad. En la última pelea no, no la pudo ver porque se puso a llorar, empezó a llorar y salió para afuera llorando.
You look rash now. You know, look. You understand how you must never want to work. You call a kitchen, say, Isaram Kuta suspect. Mivla, old woman, living in Plovanatu. Rata, work Plorata, some Plostalo house. Was a cook, he was a more beginning. Me as a mommy, difficult to call Mama, well, he only play sport. Some of the men, they know want us to traveling, they know what us to playing like sport, they want us to stay at home. And they go overseas for two months at a time. They're leaving their four year old, six year old daughters at home. It's a big sacrifice that they're making. In the parents' room, yeah. Talk, talk about them. I say, woman, you should stop the house. I career. They me fight strong. Help them. Say, no, you're right. I accept it and support her. Yes. But if your husband says you're not going to play sports, they call it blocking in Vanuatu. Then that's it. Finish. But when the girls have had problems, their fathers have been there, they know my daughter's going to do this. It's hard with my husband, so he had to me from sometimes he get hungry with me and... Lini have a problem with family right now, because all the people try to cut it down what Lini try to achieve. But he tell Lin, to win you. I want you to achieve the Olympic game. Oh, I mean, daddy. Oh. Mm. All his winnings goes into building this house for his family, his, his brother and his, his parents. <laughs> There's a very strong sense of community here. We call it Ubuntu. It's uh, humanity. It's um, I am a person because of others. How I treat others is who I am. There's a strong sense of Ubuntu here. Entre <laughs> We are poor countries. We have no mega trainers or sponsors, so we compete in a disadvantage. Pero como peleamos con países de potencia, muchas veces que arriba del ring se el de tripa corazón. So I mean, on money, blow me to la, blow me to la. Start templo, play pitch volleyball. Me que me to la, I come strong, lo spot. Me que me to la, I think things strong, blow me to la, I play. Mi ca 
calle triste La clasificatoria eh, para los Juegos Olímpicos en el 2012, que fue en China mi clasificatoria, y fue muy controversial porque no llegamos con tiempo para adaptarnos al horario. Ella me dijo que se sentía cansada. Lamentablemente, esa fue una de las fallas. que ese era mi pase a la clasificatoria. Y lloré, lloré mucho. Llora. ¿Por qué? Porque ella se entregó y hizo lo que podía para ganar. Llora de rabia. When the cyclone pump comes in radio, they give the warning to get people to prepare because it will be a damage, like, like full damage. When the cyclone arrived in the middle of the night, it was devastating. It was catastrophic, if I can put it that way. Like you just hear everything flying and you didn't even know if you're going to survive the night. Plesia, timba ya y camaut, el capo de full full town, de rumia en mi full town, como plesia y tamet, cuando se you come in a look service en mi one house. Okay, three, two, one, and go. After the cyclone, there was some horrible stories. Four, three, two, and one, break. Lynn was living in the Man. church but the girls had three weeks to get to their first event. Go, and up, yes, good. It's hard for me and Mila to leave country because of the cyclone, but it was our dream to going to the Olympic, so we need to. We went to China, we got some shirts made, Vanuatu still smiles, and the girls wore the shirts, they just said, we're gonna do our job now. They won it. And this is after going through a Category 5 cyclone. Your house is being blown down, your family is living in a church, and you just come fifth in the world. Then I want to put that smile back on their face. It's just from right lineage. We wear them at the opening ceremony. Welcome to London and to the Games of the 30th Olympiad. How we how fish stadium, no one has a whatever Tepo represented the country in the London Olympics. It was only his second marathon ever in, in his life. And it was his first time outside of the country besides South Africa. So it was a bit overwhelming for him. How can I do the opening ceremony? Relay me, relay the speed. Come on, get like a chance, get the shabale no no. Like I'm wrong. Ngake ne refu. Inese ko re na ona sa o ona fisha o chaga chaga fela. Kila kamat gaupo. From what I saw on the telly, he was running quite well, but then he, he stopped. They have bailout buses. If you jump in, you're done. DNF did not finish. Official race in a fella, Honzo, Kepala Mekoloi. 
Tepo didn't get onto the car and he finished. That's testament to him. Tepo um, finished last, um, uh, 20 minutes behind the second last person uh, in London. I feel like finishing. I get quite a hole. I feel like finishing more. I feel a hole. But I'm not going to be we're going to the church Lord to give us strength and power to play. I was a little bit of 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 a que con el favor de Dios, la meta de nosotros ahora es Río 2016. It's about faith. If you've got it in you, you know you could do it. At the Grand Slam last year, the number one ranked team in the world was the Dillian Pairing, which had just won the World Championships. And nobody believed that the girls could beat them. Even I didn't, to be honest, but they have a lot of vision. They say, this is what we're going to go for. We can do it. Brazilia in the driving seat. Rare moments. <laughs> Class from Vanuati. And the girls beat them in three sets. Amazing upset. And when Mila got off the plane, I said to her, how did you beat the number one team in the world? She said, nobody believed that we could beat them, but we believed we could beat them. Cuando yo perdí fue en China y después que llegué aquí a República Dominicana duré casi 15 días que no salía de, un, de la habitación llorando no quería comer. Un par de días sí yo tuve que ya, lo llamaba eh, la visitaba y eso no quería ver a nadie hasta que un día mi abuelo llegó tocando la puerta y me dijo párate de ahí que, que esto, no, esto no se acaba ahí. Si tú quieres, tú puedes, y lo mejor está por venir. Y en el 2000, él murió en el 2013, y ahí mismo yo tenía la competencia, el continental femenino, y no quería irme, mi familia me decía, vete, ve, ve a esa competencia, que tú sabes que tu abuelo se va a sentir muy orgulloso de ti. Bueno, tocó el día de la pelea. Me dicen mis compañeras que arriba de ese ring yo era otra persona. Pero yo sí sentía que cuando peleé con esa persona, eh, eh, como que algo me empujaba. Me sentía cansada, pero a la vez como que algo me, me, me ayudaba. Como Él me dijo, no te preocupes, que a esa le vamos a ganar. Él me estaba ayudando. Y le gané. Y yo sé que, que era la fuerza de él que, y los pensamientos que él me decía, nosotros vamos a ganar. When Sebo came back from London, he said, I have learned a lesson and I want to improve from my mistakes. Most athletes could have quit. I would have quit also. 
In fact, I take him to be a very brave athlete. So the World Championship Marathon for men gets underway. Benjini Megi Kapile team. Ne official halfway ku jawai. Kerele exite ko re karen zeke samati ho ha zeke trota fe. Well, interestingly, our leader here, Matibele from Lesotho, looking behind because he's building up a little bit of a lead here. The main I was shocked to see him at the two-hour mark leading the race. He was 85th in the Olympic Games in London, 2012. Seppo Matabele. He thought these guys were tired. He decided to just leave them behind and move. I always tell athletes that they must enjoy pain. Matibele just starting to fade a little bit of cigar. The psychology, it's powerful. It's up to you to be able to overcome that test. The 19-year-old Gabriel Selassie of Eritrea, who's taken over the lead, and they're being left trailing. It's been a he made that move too early. Had he made that decision four kilometers after that, Sepo could have won in Beijing. It was hit. Very tough conditions out there. Yeah, it was very tough. But next time I'll try more better. Thank you. I had the confidence in, in him, I said, now he's becoming a man, he can actually make a decision to do something on his own. He's somebody who has the commitment to achieve his goals. What's the road to Rio look like? Right now we're just outside, so we need to focus on getting to Brazil for the Olympics. Then we can look at what result we want to get. Now, me and Milan try our best to qualify to the Olympics. We need to fight and be strong. They've put in a lot, a lot of traveling times away from their families. We've committed so much into this journey that Rio is everything for us. They have the weight of the nation on them. The whole nation is behind them. They've defied barriers and they've overcome enormous obstacles. These girls make it to the Olympics. This region is going to go crazy and so will the world. If you're ranked in the top 16 teams in the world, you automatically qualify to the Olympics. Quiero traerme esa medalla de oro. Y ese oro, y ese oro tiene que traerla aquí porque... Que eso fue lo que ella quiso. Mi papá siempre lo quería eso. Rio would be to redeem himself. He wants to prove to himself and, and everybody that he is a top-class runner. It's not last place. I think Seppo can win. He's got something inside him.
Pero yo voy a seguir adelante porque no hay barrera, no hay obstáculo, siempre se puede más. Calele la mata de Ipumane, Emon Lemon, Aona, Ipumana, la corre que que ti. Tomorrow's a new day. I want to say to all the people around the world, be strong and try your best. If me and Mila can make it, then they're going to make it. So follow, follow the sun.